welcome you again in the classes of vvs academy in the last lecture we were discussing the noise pollution and in the noise pollution we have completed a few portion and few portion are left and in the last class we were discussing how there is a change in sound with increasing distance so obviously with increasing distance the sound will go down or is it the value of the sound is going to be low as compared to the previous distance if you are if you are increasing the distance so that's how you can calculate the different types of the sound source and their behavioral change or value change with increasing distance so i have told you that there are two types of noise one is the point source another one is the line source in point source we have only one source of noise and in the line source we have multiple sources of the noises for example the traffic and we have seen that by calculating the value in the both in the point source and line source in using these particular formulas in your screen that this value of sound with doubling the distance decreased by 3 in the point source and decreased decreased by 6 in the actually point source and decreased by 3 in the line source so because in the line source we have the multiple sources here you can see the distance from the noise source is doubled find out the new noise level at double distance for both point and line source so first we have calculated for the point source for point source the 6 decibel amount is reduced and if you calculate it for the line source the value of 3 decibel would be reduced from the previous noise level in the case of the line source so that is in the case of doubling the distance for any other distance this formula you can use to calculate the value of sound for the new point source or new line source now according to that you can see the changing behavioral of the sound and this question also we have solved now today we have to start the new topic that is the addition of the two different sound that is coming from two different places maybe that is coming from two different distance maybe so how to calculate the average noise level or the new sound level that is created by the two different sound source so here is this table this is you have to remember this is the table that you can see and if you can not remember this all values then there is a shortcut table for you as well for the approximation value so this shortcut table would be only true in the case of approximation if your options are far well apart and in the case of very close options you have to remember this particular table now what is the meaning of this particular table so this table is containing the two columns one column is saying that how much is the difference in the sound level of the two different sources or maybe two different distances so if difference with, between both the sound levels is 0 decibel then on that case you have to add in higher value 3 decibel of amount and that will be your new average noise level for suppose if i give you example one noise source is creating 50 decibel of noise or sound another source is creating 50 decibel of sound same and here if you want to calculate the average sound value so it is not like that 50 plus 50 divided by 2 so that is equals to 50 again this is completely wrong approach in the sound level or average noise level because i have told you already that the now noise is working on log scale it is not in the normal scale so normal averaging we cannot do so for that what do you have to do it is saying that see you have to see the difference between the sound level so this is the 50 decibel sound another one is the 50 decibel sound and the difference between them 50 minus 50 is equals to 0 so this difference you have to find out in the all examples or all the cases and this difference will tell you what to do for the average noise level so here you have to see the table the difference in the sound level 50 minus 50 is 0 so you have to take this first row and if you are difference between the sound levels is 0 decibel then you have to add 3 in the higher value of that two different noise level so both the values are equal here so any one you can take and here the new noise level would be 50 plus 3 add in higher value so this new noise level would be 53 decibel that's how you can solve the average noise level problems if difference between them is 1 decibel for suppose if i give you example of the 50 decibel and 51 decibel so now difference 51 minus 50 is 1 so if difference is 1 you have to add in higher value 2.5 
So this would be 51 plus 2.5. This would be 53.5. That is your new noise level. Similarly, if difference is 2, you have to add 2.1 always in higher value, not in lower value. If I suppose that 50 plus 2.5 and 52.5, so this is wrong. You have to always add the number in the higher value of the sound. So if difference is 3, 1.8, you have to add. Similarly, it is giving the range up to 10. So if difference in between the two sound levels, suppose 50 and 60 decibel. Then you have to add in higher value 0 0.4. So new noise level would be 60.4 decibel. If suppose your values are difference between the two noise levels are and differences between them is actually more than 10. Suppose 11 or 12 or 15 or maybe 20 or maybe 100. Whatever value you are getting on that, all that value would be equals to the higher noise level or sound level value. So if difference is between the two sound level is more than 10, then nothing you have to add or remove. Always your answer would be the higher noise level. The small noise level would be not creating any value appreciation for the higher noise level here. So this is what this particular table is. Suppose you have difficulty to remember this table, you can remember the shortcuts as well. If difference is between 0 to 1, add 3. If difference is between 2 to 3, then add 2. If difference between the sound level is in the range of 4 to 8, you have to add only one in the higher noise level. And if difference is more than 9, so then just go with the 0 adding addition value in the higher noise level. So this is shortcut. The values here are approximated. So here, this is what this particular calculation is. Few examples are provided to you here. The find out the average noise level of 50 and 55 decibels. So difference between them is 5 decibels. So you have to add 1.2 in the higher value for the 5. So 56.2 would be your right answer. If you look at the shortcut table, so 5 is the difference between this third value will tell you the value addition of the higher noise level. So if this is in the range of 4 to 8. So you have to add in the higher noise level 1. That would be 56 decibel according to the shortcut. Exactly 56.2. 63 and 72 difference here is of 9 so almost negligible value here you can see 0 you have to add otherwise you can see the right option here in the accuracy table that would be 0 0.5 so 72.5 would be the new noise level so similarly we have 80 and 89 decibel so 89.5 or 89 decibel would be your right answer so if your options are very nearby 88.5 89 88 89.5 90 then you have to look at this exact table but we have seen that in the UGC net examination of environmental science, the options are well far apart. The options that will be provided to you would be 80 decibel, 90 decibel, then maybe 100 decibel, then we have the 110 decibel. So on that case, 90 decibel would be your answer, which is very near to your option or very near to your answer. So that is how you can use the shortcut table for this calculation. And addition is very easy. Just on one thing you have to do, that is remembering this particular table and you will get your answer. That's all you have to do in the case of addition of two different sounds. This table would be only true for the two different sound sources. If sound sources are more than two, three, four, five, then this particular table you cannot use. This is only for addition of two different sound levels. Again, I am repeating. This is only for that two different sound levels. This table you cannot work out with the more than two noise sources or sound sources so i hope this is clear to you and how to solve the questions you already aware now now let's move further if suppose noise is coming from more than two sources l1 l2 then maybe l3 l4 l5 and then up to the l n ln number of the sound sources or noise sources we have then how to calculate the average noise level? Here, the average noise level is known as the equivalent noise level. So equivalent noise level is LEQ. So LEQ is equals to 10 log 10 to the power L1 by 10. L1 is the first sound sound level here. Then we have 10. Then we have 10 to the power L2 by 10. L2 is the second noise level. Then plus 10 to the power L3 by 10 plus 10 to the power L4 by 10. So depending on how many numbers you have more than two, this is going to be add and add and add up to the 10 to the power ln divided by 10. 
so here leq would be equivalent noise level which is the noise level coming from the multiple sources of noise or multiple sources of sound so this is the formula main formula that you have to remember in the case of calculation of the equivalent noise level that is coming from the multiple sources or at least more than two so if there are only two sources you can use the table if there are more than two sources then you have to use this formula let's see some example how to solve this question this question is very frequent as well as very common in the usenet examination so multiple time they have asked the multiple sources sound and their addition so this question is saying that on take off an aeroplane create sound of 120 decibel if such five aeroplane take off together find out the equivalent noise level how to solve this particular question your options are here you can see 121 decibel 127 decibel 130 decibel 150 decibel so just you have to what you have to do you have to just use that formula that we have already seen leq is equals to 10 log 10 to the power 11 by 10 10 to the power l2 by 10 l3 l4 by 10 and up to the l5 by 10 because we have only five sources of noise in the question already it is saying there are five aeroplane take off together taking the takeoff together so here five sources you have to take so up to l5 divided by 10 i will take here the value of the sound which is produced by all these different aeroplanes is equal that is how much that is 120 decibel so just put the value of l1 l2 l3 l4 l5 as 120 so here leq is equals to 10 log 10 to the power in the place of l1 now 120 divided by 10 in the place of l2 120 divided by 10 so this will go up to the five times 120 divided by 10 and this 1 2 0 and this 10 0 would be cancelled so there would be only 12 left so 10 log 10 to the power 12 five times so addition of the five times i can write down five multiplied by 10 to the power 12 so that would be more easy for me so 10 log 10 to the power 5 multiplied by 10 to the power 12 or 10 to the power 12 multiplied by 5 times and now we have the log rule that is log a multiplied by b is equals to log a plus log b so 10 i have separated out which is in the front of log and this would be log 5 plus log 10 to the power 12 so log 5 value we know that is 0 0.699 plus this 12 will come to the front and this log 10 value would be equals to 1 so 12 multiplied by 1 is 12 and log 5 is 0 0.699 so 0 0.699 plus 12 this would be 12.699 or i can take 12.7 as well for the approximation value and when this is multiplied by 10 this would be 127 or 126.99 exactly the sound level created by the five such aeroplanes which is creating 120 decibel of the sound or noise so this formula you have to use and the basics of the log formula should be clear to you when you are solving such a type of question. And this is how you can find out the equivalent noise level created by the multiple sound sources. For suppose if different levels or noises are created by the each aeroplane, then in the place of L1, L2, L3, L4, L5, you have to take the different values and you can find out the exact value with the help of the same formula which is provided here so i hope it is clear to you the formula you have to remember and the all thing that you have to do is that putting the value of this l1 l2 l3 to the l to the l uh, nine sources of the noise so i hope you understood it and let's move ahead